Hello everyone, it's Vanessa, the creator of Powerful Expansion 777, and today I'm going to be creating a video. This is going to be my first card reading on this channel. I'm going to do a general reading on what's to come for 2020 since we have 47 days left in this year at the time that I'm doing this reading right now So I'm going to lay out four decks. I have not looked at them yet I'm going to shuffle them now and lay them out with a crystal on top You can choose and pick your deck when you're picking these decks pick the deck that resonates with you Okay, and I'm going to jump right into it and tell you what's to come for 2020 Okay, so this is an animal message reading. I'm going to be using an animal message deck to do a 10 card pull for each deck. I've already put the cards, shuffled them, and laid them out. I have not looked at them yet. Um, I was divinely guided to align them with the crystal. So I'm going to give you a moment to take a look at the decks and choose which deck resonates with you. Don't go off of what your favorite color is or things like that or just go what naturally pulls you to it, okay? And we're gonna jump straight into it. Okay, so I have the first deck here for those of you who picked the first deck, number one. This is Pink Opal that we have here on top of the card. It's a tumbled crystal. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about this crystal after the video today. So stay tuned for that at the end of your card reading. And let's jump straight into it. I have not looked at these cards yet, so as we go, I'm going to be telling you what's to come for 2020 for you all right so the first card we have is peacock protect your heart from those who may cheat before they hurt you so that's letting me know that you're going to have to just be on alert with the way that you share your love with others i'm not saying be paranoid but just be more of just aware of what type of person you're giving your love to the type of person that you're uh, spending your time with and beginning relationships with or the person you may already be with it may be someone who doesn't have genuine they don't have genuine intentions with you put it like that and then our next card here is the cobra it says change is inevitable, but with it comes the chance to shed a burden. Ooh. So I'm feeling like with this card, this does have to do with relationships in this deck. And it's telling you that it's time for a change. I'm not sure if you're, you've are you been with somebody for a long period of time. And you can feel like the relationships are starting to just get to a place where it's not working anymore. Or you can't trust that person anymore. It's not what it used to be. Um, but it's letting you know what I'm feeling is that you're being told that change is going to get you something a little bit better. So I know you may be comfortable in that relationship, but it may be time for a change. It may be time for you to switch it up. Or even if it's someone that you can't see yourself not being with for a while, maybe it's just time for you guys. Because I'm, I'm feeling like this could be some time apart. A separation. A separation, okay? If it's someone that you're already with. Um, the next card is Moose. With self-reliance and measured patience, adversity will be overcome. Um, will be overcome. I'm sorry. So you probably be, you probably have a lot of adversity that comes to you because of this relationship, and you probably have got a lot of criticism from others and people going against you and your decisions that you're making. Was well, just let you know that if you stay on your own path stick to what's true to you things will soon pass and you shouldn't have to worry about what others think of you anyway so if you are worried about what others think of you you need to work on those parts of yourself but soon things won't last long all right frog adapt and survive by accepting the inevitable and seizing potential 
Okay, some things just are going to happen. You just have to accept them as they are and start seizing other areas where you see that you have potential to do other things. So if something is not working out and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm feeling that is this relationship, it has something to do with this relationship. If something's not working out for you, you have to let things be as they are. You have to accept them as they are and move on because there's so much potential waiting for you in other areas that you can turn into your reality. You can turn into better relationships, people who are more aligned with you and more aligned with your heart. That's what I'm feeling right now. People who are more aligned with the things that you want to do, the type of trips that you want to take. So that's what I'm getting for that one. The next one is bat. Ooh, bat is one of my favorite animal messages. You have the power to transcend failure and move into a limitless future. <laughs> so you know that already we're telling you that it's something that you need to be letting go as far as love and relationships it's something you need to be taking some time and some space away from and it's this is i'm getting a feeling that you have power to go farther than you ever imagined and you may look at this relationship as a failure because you thought it was going to work out at first you thought this was something that was going to last for a long time, but it's letting you know that once you move forward and you get past this relationship or this person, oh my God, you, you won't believe what's in store for you for love for 2020. Okay. You won't believe what's in store for you for your future. And it's, it's further than you could ever imagine. There is no limit for the next relationship. It's going to be way better than this one, way masterful than this one. So it's time for you to let certain relationships that are no longer serving you, let them go for 2020. 2020, you should have 2020 vision for 2020, okay? <laughs> All right, so the next card is Llama. Let courage lead you to seek support and overcome a fear of intimacy. So for those of you, I'm getting two things here. For those of you who are fearing new love, be open to it. For those of you that are single, be open to meeting new people. Have enough courage to seek support from those that are close to you, your friends, and times where you may need them, the ones that you can trust and that have really been there for you. But open up your heart and don't be fearful of what's to come with these new love relationships. And like I said, for the other person who may already be in a relationship and it's telling you here in the cards... I don't make this up. This is what I'm getting out of this deck and I'm feeling it is that something is not be someone is not being honest with you and it's time to move on. It's time to let go the person that the relationship that may be holding you back, whoever that is. It could be more than just a lover, you know, but whoever that is, it's time for you to let them go. It's time for you to not be afraid to open up your heart to more experiences because there's something else out there waiting for you in 2020 and it's coming. Our next card is Fox. It says your sharpened senses allow you to observe the actions of others. Everybody know that Fox is fly. So um, you're going to want to use your senses and your intuition with this card coming up in the deck because I already know that with Fox, is usually a sign of someone deceiving you, someone being deceitful. So you want to keep your intuition open. Don't doubt yourself if you're getting a vibe from somebody or you're getting a feeling from somebody that they're not being honest with you. They're not, you know, all the way 100 with you. Maybe you need to follow your intuition and act on that because it's a reason why you get those feelings. And when Fox comes into the, uh, the deck, it's usually a sign of deception. Next card is Parrot. It's a beautiful bird, beautiful card. Let sunshine revitalize your soul and color transform your world. So like I said, we're going into a new paradigm for 2020. If you look at the bird, Parrot, it's a beautiful bird. So it's letting you know that it's so much more in store for you visually and physically for 2020. And if you could use your mind... And just think about what it could be, what it can go into. 
visualize what love can be like if you let go the things that are hindering you and you holding you back it could be so beautiful you see this tropical location you see the background you see this beautiful bird it's so pretty the colors are so vibrant that is what love can be like for you once you let go what's no longer serving you with this previous relationship and for those of you that are single once you stop being afraid get some courage work on your confidence you're going to be seeing a beautiful vital love coming for 2020 Next card is the octopus. Okay, number one, this is deck number one still. Number one, octopus says travel across earth and over the seas to securely embrace your dreams. So some of you have big dreams. Some of you in deck number one have big dreams and you've been thinking about them, doubting them, not wanting, not knowing how to pursue them. 2020 is letting you know, this octopus card is letting you know it's time to travel. It's time for you to start executing those dreams start working towards those dreams start um i know in some of my videos i talk about dream journal manifestation and just uh attracting what you want it's time for you to get up stop being scared let go whoever's holding you back it's pertaining to a relationship if someone's telling you oh no we shouldn't travel oh no no octopus is telling you it's time to travel across the earth there is no limits okay we're gonna go over the seas take some voyages get on some ships and do some cruises Gro go across and travel and maybe that's where you'll meet your new love okay and the next card which is our last card is the ray and that says um counter malicious talk by casting its import from your mind okay so it's letting you know that if people are using negative terms with you or they're just not being nice people talking about your relationship that's not in a good state people just talking about you in general 2020 you're not going to be thinking about that you're going to be getting that out of your mind state you're going to be clearing your mind from those type of people because they do not mean you good you're going to be closing all of that out anyway because you shouldn't care what people be, you know, you shouldn't be caring about what people say about you. This is your time to shine. 2020 is going to be a beautiful year for you, but you have to learn to love yourself and let go. And I believe that's why the pink opal was over this, um, this deck as well, because it has to do with love. <laughs> And relationships it's time for you to love yourself enough to know when to let go of things that no longer serve you and let go of people that just don't mean you good they're putting negative thoughts and negative words into your life it's time for you to release them because in 2020 you're going to be able to live the life of your dream and travel the world and have better love relationships if you feel that you are worthy which you are okay so that is your reading deck number one and now we're going to get into deck number two. Okay, so this is the part where I'm going to just tell you a little bit about your crystal that was on top of each deck. And this is the pink opal. So soft. So pretty. Makes me think about love. So that's what it has to do with. It has to do with relationships. Um, it's a powerful crystal for emotional healing, emotional balance and healing matters of the heart. So after you have gotten out of a relationship and with the deck that I just did for number one, we talked about love relationships, time to move on. So this crystal helps you with that. If you're healing from a breakup or a loss of a loved one, holding and meditating with the uh, pink opal, especially over your heart for those who like to do crystal healing. Um, it fills your aura with just peaceful energies. And, you know, you can find one of these at your local crystal store or order it online. You can find somewhere to uh, purchase one. But I love my pink opal. So it's just, it's a loving, it's a loving crystal. Those of you who have picked card deck number two, this crystal tumble we have here is green jade i just love the way it feels so smooth and i just love the uh i love this crystal i love jade in general so remember stay tuned number two to the uh, end of your reading of this video so that i can explain to you some qualities 
and characteristics of the jade crystal because this is the crystal that is over your deck now we're going to get straight into your deck i have not looked at these cards yet so this is just going to be new for me and new for you as well but i'm going to let you know what's going to be happening with you for 2020 let's jump straight into it okay oh the first card i got is a butterfly beautiful it says delight in life and embrace change as the source of your creativity okay so that means for 2020 change is coming for you and change is going to be the source of your create creativity change is going to have you doing things that you have never done before in 2020 you're you're opening up to a new paradigm in 2020 okay the butterfly is colorful the butterfly is free if you know anything about the butterfly the butterfly flies all over the place summer is my favorite time of the year that's when i was born and it's when so many butterflies are everywhere flying around and going where they want to go it's hard to catch one <laughs> some people are lucky enough too but basically it's letting you know that it's time for a change, okay, 2020? You may be comfortable doing what you've been doing for a long time now, but for 2020, you already feel a change coming. That's why you clicked on this video today, twos, okay? So your next card is Hummingbird. Turn away from infidelity so that love may blossom. Hmm. It's time for you to get more serious about love about being with one person getting more serious with one person you may be used to playing the field for the prior years now or for the prior months depending on the last relationship you left but it's time for you to get into a serious relationship and it's going to be coming you don't have to look for it my number twos because it's coming to you with the change that you're going to be going through you're going to see a change in the type of people that you're going to be attracting to you i can feel that you're going to be attracting new people. But if you're already in a relationship, you're going to be working on that relationship and it's going to be getting better if that is the person who is aligned with you. Your next card is the seal. Hard work and inspiration are the foundation of true creativity. Okay, so I already see, I can see and feel that my twos are going to be very creative in 2020. You're going to be creating a lot of new things. You're going to be starting a lot of new projects. And what's going to get these projects going and staying um, on a float is your hard work and staying inspired. Um, jumping into inspired action. That's going to be the foundation of your creativity. You might watch a video, like you might be watching this video right now, and as soon as you get done with this video, it's going to give you that boost to get off of here and go do something that you already had planned that you need to do like you might have already wrote it down but haven't started it yet those those goals that you have you keep saying i want to do this i want to do this but you keep making excuses on why you can't do it okay i'm feeling that you're going to start just jumping into radical action in 2020 you're going to start picking up on your creative side okay <laughs> Next card is it's another creation card. If you can see, it's the ego. It says, create your vision. So this is a manifestation card. You're, you have visions in your um, mind of the things that you want to do to. So I can feel it. I can feel it that you have so many ideas in your mind and so many visions that you have. You may even be a dreamer. But you may doubt yourself sometimes. In the prior years, in the prior months, you may have doubted yourself. But now you're starting to pick up on some momentum. Um, I'm sorry, some momentum, some um, creative energy. And it's getting you to the point where you're ready to just take on what you've been envisioning. You have the vision. You just need to get into the, take the steps and start properly planning to do what it is that you came here to do. Because my twos, I can see that you're very creative creative okay um your next card is elephant you gain the love and wisdom that is passed from one generation to the next so this gift of manifesting because i can see that's what you have the gift to do you have the gift to create the the life that you want to live there is no limit for you you can have whatever it is that you want it was passed down to you from a, a parent okay 
It was passed down to you through our generations. Um, this gift has already been in your family for a long time and you happen to be one of those who are realizing it. That's why you came to this video today and clicked on this video and you picked deck number two because this is this is where you're at. You're the one. You're the one who's going to change things up for your generation and break. Uh, you're going to break. I can feel that you're going to break chains. Yeah, you're going to break chains and you're going to start some new things. All right. So your next card is Hippo. Friends stand close by the shield you um friend I'm sorry, friends stand close by to shield you from life's adversity. So this is telling me that you need to come closer in with your friends. You may be spending a lot of time alone. This is going to be a time in 2020 where you're going to start being more social with the people that care about you and love you. And you're going to start talking to your friends more, you know, hanging out with them more and just, you know, spend having fun with them because this is what gets you through hard times where you may feel like things are going your way. And until you get to where you're going to be going, because I can see already that with your vision and some action, you have a beautiful future coming up. But until you get there, make sure that you're having a good time and also using your friends to talk to when you need somebody to talk to. Don't be, don't hold things in just because you feel like you're the strongest one. Um, and you're usually the one that everybody's talking to, number twos, because that's what I'm getting here. Talk to your friends, open up to people. Your next card is crab. Show your emotions and regenerate love. What was I just talking about? Opening up more. My number two, y'all need to open up more. 2020, that's what's going to happen. You're going to open up more. You're going to start showing your emotions. You're going to start, stop being so closed off. Stop being the hermit. And you're going to start expressing yourself more. And with doing that, that's going to generate and put towards you genuine love people who are really interested in you for you and not for who you are you know claiming to be it's going to be your true authentic self all right our next card is bison recognize the riches of the past and abundance of the present Ooh. so yeah with this card i can see that You've been through some things in the past. You have not had an easy life. But I'm feeling here that you need to take those experiences from your past. Take those as lessons, stepping stones to help you push you further to where you plan on going. To push you further to those visions. Now you know how to move now. You, don't, you won't make those same mistakes. And also be mindful and aware of the moment. Get into the moment and realize how rich you are right now. How much abundance is coming to you right now. Because what you do right now is what determines your future. But for you to have clicked on this video and chose this deck, I can already tell that you are rich in spirit. You are rich in your mind. It's really just aligning yourself with the stars because this is already destined for you. You're already destined to create the future that you love to live, okay? So my number twos, use what what use the things that you've been through in the past. Use them as a stepping stone. If you have a story, share it with people. Share your story. I'm I'm getting here that somebody got a story to share and it's gonna help other people with them sharing that story. You didn't know that when you shared your story, it was gonna help other people. You thought that your story was just a messed up part of your life or a burden to other people. But no, this story is actually going to help change other people's life. So I, I'm getting that feeling here. And also, you are set for abundance, but you have to realize that you have it. If you're distracted and you're looking here, there, there, that way, you're not going to realize how rich you already are. So be mindful. Your next card is the wild horse. It says, speak your passion aloud and defend those whom you love in word and deed. So, like I said, like the prior card with Pratt, you need to start speaking out more what it is that you want, what it is that you're passionate about, your dreams and goals. 
not so much of telling people what your dreams and goals are before you execute them, but more so just being honest about who you are, not holding back or hiding that aspect of yourself because you're scared of what people think about it. Show your passion and step into your purpose. And need be for 2020, you may have to defend those you love, but you have everything you need to do that. I, I already have confidence in my number twos here. I feel like you are the, the protector of those you love. That's the kind of the energy you give me. That's the kind of spirit you have. And this is your last card for my number twos. Beautiful bumblebee. This says hard work is rewarded with responsibility and a sweetness that is shared. So you're going to be rich, okay? 2020, when I say you're coming into richness, if, 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 if abundance don't start falling in your lap for 2020, you're going to be on the brink of learning how and what you need to start changing about yourself. You're going to be in a place where you're going to start realizing what it is you need to do the steps you need to take, the action you need to make moves on, the planning, the prioritizing, what you need to do to make your vision come into fruitation for my number twos. 2020 is going to be a, a changing year for you. You're going to be going through some changes. You're going to be transforming. I hear, I hear transformation. You're going to go through a big transformation in 2020, and it's going to all come from your creativity. It's going to come all from your mind, your visions, your goals, your biggest dreams and aspiration. And remember, I said that for this deck, some of you are actual dreamers, people who have dreams. You may have dreams of things that's going to happen in your future before they happen. And they can happen. Those amazing things that you're dreaming about, they can happen, but you got to apply yourself and you got to learn about what it is that you're passionate about and your purpose. And you got to find out how to step into that purpose and just jump into radical action and start doing that. And 2020 is going to bring you big changes. Okay. So thank you so much. My number twos, if you chose number two, write it down in the comments and let me know how you feel about your reading. Thank you so much. And don't forget to stay tuned. Okay, so this is the part where I'm just going to tell you about the crystal that went with the second deck. And this is the green jade. I love this crystal. This is one of my favorite crystals. This crystal kind of matches your deck as well. It talks about good luck, good fortune, peace, harmony, longevity, creativeness, gaining abundance. Okay. Um, attracting abundance to you, manifesting the life that you love, peaceful relationships, relationships that serve you for the better. That's what I would say you could wear this crystal for um, to just attract good relationships to you, good fortune, um, achieving your goals, achieving your highest goals, tapping into your creativeness. My number twos, we talked about creativeness in your reading, so this definitely aligns with that. And um, being aware of the resources that you already have around you, using them and putting them to use. Um, also, this crystal will help you with suppressing limiting thoughts and um, beliefs that just don't serve you. So if you are interested in using the jade to help you get into your mood in 2020, make sure you look for it online or at your local crystal store. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so this deck is for my number threes. My number threes, your crystal that we have here is Tumble. It's Botswana Agate. That's your crystal. And this is deck number three. All right, so if you stay tuned to the end of your reading... If you stay tuned to the end of your reading, I'm actually going to give you some information on this crystal and tell you some characteristics about it. So stay tuned and we're going to get into your reading now here. Now I have not looked at these cards yet, so everything is going to be new for me as well as you. And I'm going to jump straight into it and we're going to see what's in store for you for 2020. First card I have here is the bamboo. So colorful. 
Um, and love and declarations of passion, heartfelt communication is the key. So for 2020, you're going to have to open up more with your love life. You're going to have to express yourself more. And I do see that you're going to be doing that. You're going to be doing that and you're going to be showing affection. I feel like you're going to be showing affection more to those that you love for 2020. Just opening up more than you already have. Kangaroo. As events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. So, like I said, you're going to be moving forward. So, with opening up more, that means you're usually feeling more comfortable around a certain person. You're going to be moving forward, getting the ball rolling in different areas of your life in 2020. So, it's going to take you having to take a leap into what's going to be new for you in 2020. Um, I'm feeling like you're going to be required to take a leap in 2020. You're going to be required to stop being so scared. And so sh if for some of you, if you're shy, you're not going to be able to hold back on things in 2020. You're going to have to step out and seize them. The, the third card for you is the owl. Seek out deeper knowledge to see through deception. So you're going to be using your wisdom in 2020, okay? You're going to be using your intuition, innate abilities that you have in 2020 more to choose the people that you have around you. Choose the environments that you put yourself in. You're going to be using your senses of or gifts of sight that some of you may have for 2020. And you already knew about this. I feel like you already know that you have sight. But in 2020, you're going to use it more. <laughs> 2020 vision. <laughs> you're going to use it more because you understand that it's going to be required. Because in order you for you to open up to people and move forward in relationships in 2020, you need to know that this person is really who they claim to be for you. Or you need to know that this is a real relationship or a real person or a real opportunity. I'm feeling like in 2020, you're definitely going to be using your intuition more. Your wisdom to help you make wise decisions. Your next card is the wild boar. Whatever tradition or others expect of you, only to yourself be true. So for 2020... It's going to require that you start doing things for yourself more. You may be a person that take care of other people a lot and you pour into other people's cups a lot. But for 2020, I see that it's going to be a change with that aspect of yourself. You're going to start taking care of you more. You're not going to care what other people think about you so much. You're going to start stepping into your true authentic self and you're not going to fake it to make it. You're not going to act like you like certain things that you don't like or like going places that you don't like going, you're going to have to walk your own path. With the wild boar, the boar walks alone most of the time because other animals kind of don't look at him in the same way as, you know, family and, you know, he doesn't have a beautiful look to him. So he's different. He's the eyeball, the one that stands out from the crowd, the black sheep. That's what I'm getting for my number threes. And I'm sorry if I if I said another number, I'm not sure. But that's what I'm getting for my number threes. You are the person who stands out and that's what's going to happen more for 2020 because you're going to start being your true self. You're not going to hide who you truly are to please other people so other people can feel okay to be around you. That's not what you're doing for 2020. We're not doing that. We're going to be who we are, who we are happy with. And I can feel that you're going to get more comfortable with yourself because you're going to be able to be who you truly are. Next card is the sacred beetle. I'm sorry, the scarab beetle. What is unregarded or disregarded holds a secret, a seed of creation. So what others may not think is as important or other people may not pay attention to certain topics you're going to be interested in those things and you're going to see the gold and, you know, you're going to see the richness in them. You're going to see them for so much more than what other people see them for. Like a person might throw out a book and you may pick up that book because 
That book has some valuable information in it that can take your life to the next level. You're thinking on a whole nother mind plane. You're not thinking on a mundane mind plane. So you're not thinking regular and you're not regular. Like I said, with the boar, you're going to be standing out from everybody else. You're not, you're not regular. So for 2020, this may be a path where you start work walking alone more in 2020 besides love relationships because you're going to stand out more, but you're going to be okay with that. You're going to be fine with that. You, you're not going to see anything wrong with that because you're going to be happy making your decisions. All right. So like I said, you're going to find pleasure in the things that other people don't find pleasure in. The things that people, other people are going to be used to doing the same thing all the time. You're going to start doing new things, different things you've never done before, um, opportunities you've never thought to even seize before because you were scared or you were doubting yourself maybe because the way you were raised or uh, limited beliefs in your mind that's all going to change for 2020 for my deck number three bear nurture creativity and return to the sweetness of life so you're going to start going back into your creativeness once you get along once you get by yourself more you're going to start being more creative you're going to start just enjoying the richnesses of life you're you're not going to need fancy things <laughs> for you to have a good time you're going to have a good time by just taking walks out in nature i could feel it you're going to have a good time by just listening to the water sitting by a waterfall or going to the beach in 2020 or going to the lake, doing the simple things because you're a person who sees beauty in things that other people don't see beauty in. You can just have a moment in the park reading a book on a bench and to you is so much beauty in that. You get to watch the people, the environment, you get to read your book and be in a peaceful state. Other people want to still do things that don't serve them like clubbing, um, just all types of wild things that you're not you're not worried about that in 2020. You're creating your own room, your own bubble where you're just having a good time. And you're just really learning yourself more. You're learning yourself. I can feel that you're learning about parts of you that you didn't even know that existed in 2020. You weren't aware that it's certain creative parts of your mind that you're going to be able to use to get what you want in 2020. Next card for you, I have the water buffalo. Face life head on with courage and rec reclaim the brave spirit within you. 2020, you're gonna have a brave spirit. You see these um, horns. <laughs> Ain't nothing getting in your way in 2020. You're going to do what you came here to do in 2020, even if you have to do it alone, like I said. You're not going to care about having a, a pack of people with you. But I do feel that in the sense of you stepping into your true self, you're going to start attracting people to you that have similar qualities or like the things that you like or like to travel to places that you like to travel to. They like the topics that you like to learn about. In 2020, you are going to meet those type of people based off of you simply just moving at the own, you know, going on your own path. On your own path, not letting anyone persuade you into what they like to do, what they enjoy doing. You're going to do what works for you. And you're going to have courage while doing it. You're going to have more braveness while doing it. Maybe in the past couple of months or the prior years, you used to be scared to stand up for yourself and say, hmm, I like this more. Or I like to do this. I don't like to do this. Now you're going to have the courage to say that, to stand up to people about what it is that you like and what you don't want to learn or, you know, things that you just don't want to do. You're going to have courage and you're going to be able to take life head on like a bull, like the water buffalo with those horns ready to knock anybody out that's in your way. <laughs> All right. So next card is the porcupine. Okay, the porcupine defends himself when he needs to, okay? So you may defend yourself honorably without hurting those close to you. See, that's what I was just saying. You're going to basically, you're going to use your sense of defense when you need to. 
but you're not going to hurt those people that care about you and love you, but you're going to let them know enough. You're going to have enough braveness and courage about you to say, look, this is what it is. This is what I like to do, or this is what I want to do in my life. Let me be. So with porcupine coming up in your car is let me know that I was, I was right on spot with the water buffalo with letting you know that you got what you need to move forward. If someone gets in your way, it won't, it won't happen like that. It won't, that won't work. They're going to have to move out your way and let you do what it is that you came here to do because you're ready to take on some of your creativeness. You're ready to start using your wisdom, your intuition more, stepping into your abilities and walking on your own path. And sometimes walking on your own path can be a lonely path because everybody doesn't think on that frequency or everybody doesn't float to the rhythm of your boat, but it is what it is. 2020, you're going to be prepared for it more. Your next card is Tiger. Passion and adventure beckon. So while you're traveling, while you're having a good time, while you're expanding more, like I said, that's why you landed on this video today, Powerful Expansion 777. It's about expanding your life, growing, being more free, having more peace. With the Tiger, passion and adventure, you're going to have way, a way more adventurous life in 2020. You're going to either start taking trips in 2020 or planning trips out. And that is when you're going to meet the people that are aligned with you, that think the way that you think as far as want, willing to step out, willing to see the goldenness in things that other people don't even realize in life, willing to see the beauty and the just the regular simple things in life. You're going to start meeting those kind of people. And you're going to have a good time in 2020. You're just going to enjoy life more. Way more than, than you have prior. Um, your last card is the Badger. Abandon, compromise, and fight for what you believe in. All right? So, as I have already stated, that is just summing up what the water buffalo and the porcupine Basically saying, you're going to defend what you believe in. You're going to fight for what you believe in. You're not going to let anyone walk over you as far as what their beliefs is and what they think you should be doing with your life. You are ready to take on what you have already been thinking about. But you've been making up excuses on your mind why you can't move in that direction because this person doesn't believe in that. Because this person said, that's not right. Or this person said, oh, aren't you scared to do that? You're not listening to that no more. My number threes. You're not compromising either no more. That's why the uh, Badger said abandon compromise and fight for what you believe in. You're ready to, to just take on your biggest dreams, your biggest goals, and they're going to happen, number threes. They're going to happen. You just have to separate yourself, get into a space where you realize what's for you, and take radical action. Thank you so much for listening to this video. This was my number three. And I'm going to talk about your crystal here in just a moment. So stay tuned. For my deck threes. And this is Botswana Agate. I love how the layers and colors this crystal have on it. It's tumbled. So I would say use this crystal. It aligns with your reading as well. Um, releasing energy that no longer serves you. Becoming more grounded, helping you with communicating with your angels, being open and receptive to receiving messages, being calm and centered, grounding yourself, releasing emotions and energies that are just holding you back, holding you back, um, limited beliefs. And this, this is a good crystal for helping you to come to better solutions using your wisdom to help you make better decisions. So I would say get you some agate or Botswana agate to help you with that, okay? And thank you. Okay, this is the last deck of the night. And I have not looked at the cards yet. Your crystal is black obsidian. It's so pretty, it's so shiny, it's tumbled, it's beautiful. It reminds me of a night sky when it's a new moon. That's what this crystal remind, 
me up. And remember, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you will be able to hear more information about your crystal and see how it aligns with you. All right, so now we're going to get into your deck. I have not looked at these cards yet. I'm going to just shuffle them up a little bit, and then I'm going to get straight into your reading. Number four, are you ready for 2020? We have 47 days left from the time that I made this video, and... Let's see what's in store for you. First card, the chameleon. Conceal ambition with patience into it. It's time to make your move. Oh, I already like the way the direction, the direction that this card is taking us in. Basically, you got some ideas, number four. You got some stuff that you've been sitting on for a minute and you're ready to make a move on. But this deck is telling me, and I'm feeling that you need to have a little bit more patience have a little bit more patience it's not time yet it's not ready for you to make that move on what you about to do yet this is giving you more time to perfect your idea to perfect your goals and your organization plan that you have set 2020 you're going to be doing a lot of studying Gaining more information, learning about what's going to be coming next for you. Okay, so I want you to blend in like a chameleon and until the time is right. You're going to know when the time is right. You're going to know when the time is right for you to make that move on that big goal that you have planned. I can feel it. Next card is the lion. Look at that pretty mane, that beautiful mane. Banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends. So you need to reach out to your friends more in 2020. You need to start speaking with people more in 2020. And that can actually take up some of that time while you're supposed to be being patient. You could be hanging out with friends, having a good time. That makes time go by so fast when you are having fun. So in 2020, that's what you need to do. Next card is the whale. Through music, you reclaim life's magic and grow strong in body and soul. So, let me see here. I'm feeling that sound is going to be helping you in 2020. That may be when you know when to move next. Because... The people who are listening to deck number four right now, I feel that you have the ability to get messages through audio, through your through through your um, ear. So you're going to know when to move because you have divine guidance that's di directing you when the time is right. Music is helping you to get through hard times. Sound, uh, binaural beats is helping you pass time for whatever it is that you're planning number four. Because I hear that y'all got some big plans. And remember, it's, it's power and patience. It's power and patience. Okay? Because it, it helps you to know when to move. You're going to start realizing... You're going to start seeing and hearing magic within um, songs. You're going to realize in certain lyrics, they actually have lyrics about magic that you never realize. But you're going to start getting hip to it. You're going to start hearing it in the songs and it's going to start directing you in a certain direction. That's what I'm getting for my number fours. Another water card. A lot of emotions coming up. A lot of feelings. Tune into the rhythm of your breath to find stillness and patience. Another card about patience. Oh, my number four is. My number four is hold on, wait. It's time for you to have a little bit more patience on whatever it is that you plan. And I, I can feel big plans for my number fours. And that's the thing. When you be patient and you make the move at the right time, things end up being better than, than what you planned them out to be because you have more time to organize them. Get things in order. So tune into the rhythm of your breath to find stillness and patience. So meditate more. Become more mindful and aware 
of the environments that you're in. Do not miss out on opportunities right here in the moment because you're thinking about the future for my number fours. It's so much to be gotten from the moment. Information, knowledge is what I'm hearing. I'm getting information and knowledge is what's going to be leading you up. That's why you have to be patient because it's more learning for you. It's more learning. You're going to have a lot of more learning to do in 2020. And it's coming. Those downloads and those, they're coming. They're coming in 2020. Um, try doing affirmations because of rhythm. Um, binaural beats. Chants. Mantras to help you get through whatever it is that you may come across in 2020. If things get hard for you, or even if things is good for you, you want to be thankful. Show gratitude more in 2020. Oh, I love this card. This card says sensuality and passion stir beneath the cloak of secrecy. So waiting for that time to move again. The panther, the black panther knows when to move. And it's so funny because you have a black obsidian as your crystal. Um, the black panther knows when to move, knows when to sit up in that tree and wait on his prey. And how to do it in secrecy where they are not seen ahead of time. So... I can already see for my number four that the re your patience is going to help you a lot. Your patience is going to help you a lot. It's going to uh, stop you from making a lot of mistakes that can be avoided by moving in a certain direction in a certain manner. So before just jumping into things. So your patience is going to be very good for you. And you're going to be glad that you waited things out. And don't share your... Uh, your plans with people until after you execute them. Don't share them with people ahead of time. I'm getting that from my number fours. Keep those dreams and visions and goals that you have. Write them down in like a journal. Um, work on learning new information of how to do it and planning. But don't just give them out to people yet because it's the reason why you're being told to hold these things. Okay. Your next card is the beaver. Investing in home and comforts provides security and family togetherness. So for 2020, you're going to be investing in your family more, spending time with your family more, spending time with, if you have kids, your children more, your mate. If you have a partner, you're going to be spending time with them more and just having that secureness in the family. Okay. I'm feeling like you're a nurturing person. You might be the person who brings the love to your family and brings the family together. 2020 is going to be more of that. It's going to be more family events, more coming together, uh, more being there for each other and sticking to obligations and promises that you're making to each other. It's going to be way more security for you in the family field of 2020 and responsibility. I could feel some responsibility. You're going to be held more accountable to the things and the decisions that you are making in 2020 with your family. All right, number four, our next card is the mouse. It says, be persistent and incisive and all obstacles will be overcome. So you're going to be able to get through whatever, but you got to stick to things. You got to make a consistent plan, a consistent uh, action. You got to stick to things when you say you're going to do them, my number fours. So um, in 2020, that's what's going to come. If you've been making new plans like this year or in the prior months and you have not been sticking to them, you might get started working out or something and stop three days later. You're going to start jumping on things and staying persistent with them. You're not going to give up. And with you not giving up and with you pushing further and further, even when you can't see the light, even when you can't see things going your way, that's what's going to get you to the goals that you want. Okay? You're going to have to be real persistent in 2020. And I can see that happening for you. Big things happening for you. Patience, persistence. Hmm, it's, you sound like the underdog who coming up, um, number four. Our next card for you is Scorpion. In a new relationship, passion offers the challenge of ecstasy and pain. Ooh, so for my number four, this is going to be getting into new relationships for 2020. You look forward to see a little bit of both. You're going to have a little bit of balance. You're going to have balance in your relationship. You're going to have lots of love. Lots of passion, lots of feeling good. These relationships is going to make you feel like you're on cloud nine, but they're going to come with some pain as well. 
That's just the balance of things. They're going to come with some, some highs and some lows. You're going to have times where you're really, really in love with this person. And then there's going to be times where you just don't want to be around this person. That's what I'm getting from this. It's going to be times where you're pushing this person away in 2020. But it's because you're thinking about your dreams and your goals. You're not doing this on purpose, but it's just you're so wrapped up on when is this going to be? When is this going to happen? When am I going to reach where I want to be at? So for 2020, you're going to have to work on your patience. You're going to have to work on your persistence. And you're going to have to push through obstacles. Do not give up. Your next card for my number fours is Panda. Enjoy the sanctuary of solitude to regain self-esteem and tranquility. See, I told you you're going to be pushing somebody away. And you're going to need some time to yourself in 2020, my number fours. Because you're going to need to rejuvenate. You're going to need to recharge. And solitude, I'm getting that you're a group of people who love your solitude it just feels good you love to be loved but you love that time by yourself so you're going to spend time with your family you're going to spend time with the person you love but you also have to make it very important in 2020 that you make time for yourself and do the things that you love to do because that's what's going to make you feel good that's what's going to recharge you up so that you can go have a good time with others okay that's what's going to also prepare you for what's big to come for you because I know that something is big coming from my number fours but you got to be patient you're gonna have to stay down all right last card for my deck number four is the wolf listen to your inner wisdom and enjoy the gift of freedom all right I told you something big coming for you number four so you landed on this video today expansion uh powerful expansion 777 for the simple purpose that it's time for you to expand your life it's time for you to do so much more with your life and with our with our last card of your deck it says listen to your inner wisdom so you need to start using your intuition more in 2020 and that's what you're going to do i already know that's going to happen because i can feel it you're going to start realizing that you have an innate ability to actually guide you through situation and things you're stepping into more freedom in 2020. You're becoming free in all aspects of yourself, but you have to get into that space of mindfulness, get into that space of meditation, and just access your higher self. Find out how to make decisions. Find out when to move. No rush of these things. You don't need to rush these things, number fours. You have so much greatness coming for you. Grandness. I can feel it. But you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to be persistent. And anything is going to be possible for you. Don't share your goals with people until after you execute them. Write it out. Plan it. Journal it. Recharge. After you put, into, uh, put in that hard work towards whatever it is that you love, recharge. After you spend time with your family, because you're going to spend time with your family more in 2020. You're going to have more family events and just be involved with the people you love more. Recharge. And also be looking out for that balance and love. It's going to be both sides of the coin. Ecstasy and pain. All right? So it looks like 2020 is going to be a beautiful year. If you know how to, how to move. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening to this video of this reading. I'm Vanessa with Powerful Expansion 777. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you like what you heard today or you picked this deck, you can write down your comments in the comment section. I will comment back to you. Um, give me some feedback. Also, I would like to actually do some free readings. So I'm going to put my email down in the um, comment section or the description. And you are welcome to get one question reading from me through email. If you, um, I'll send you like an audio. If you um, message me with one question. So I do want to let you know that you are allowed to do that. And thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Share the video. Subscribe so you can be notified when I have a new um, car reading or a new video. Giving advice. Turn on those notifications, and I hope that you have a beautiful week. 
deck number four chose black obsidian that was on your deck this is a beautiful smooth gazing crystal it's a crystal that make you just want to stare at it and gaze and look into it like the night sky that's what it reminds me of so it's good for helping you to cleanse your space cleanse your energy it's a powerful powerful crystal that has to do with protecting you protection stimulating the gift of prophecy some of you have the gift of clairvoyance and seeing things through your dreams and your visions i've already picked that up while doing my reading um it's a stabilizing crystal to help stabilize the energy that's all over the place grounding for meditation and stillness it's shiny you can gaze into it like i said it's a beautiful crystal it's a warrior stone people who are strong who go through life's battles I would definitely recommend this uh, stone for getting through life's battles and ups and downs. This this is a stone for my light workers, <laughs> my light workers and my spiritualists. This would be a good stone for you. Um, it helps to get into the bottom of things, seeing the truth in things, seeing past deception, seeing past, you know, um, seeing things for what they really are, seeing them for what they really are, past the illusions unearthing uh, mysteries shattering all of those illusions so that will be a good stone for you my number fours and that is it thank you so much for staying tuned this is vanessa thank you so much for staying to the end of this video and getting your reading um in today's video i just wanted to be clear i use the animal messages uh, deck it's 52 cards and I did 10 cards for each deck just to give you an idea of what 2020 um, could be like for you I was going to say 2020 vision <laughs> but that's what 20 is, 2020 is going to be like so it just gives you an idea of what to look forward to for 2020 and I enjoyed doing this reading today if you like what you heard leave a comment and leave some feedback like the video share it and you have a wonderful week <laughs>